So today, I got exposed and called out by fellow YouTuber Swagtuff for stealing another YouTuber whose name is Taltigalt's gameplay and using it in a video that I made in October 2019. So, I'm subscribed to Swegta, and I'd say that we're acquaintances or friends on the YouTube scene, but I have tons of you guys all day saying, Zach, are you going to answer Swegta's video? You got called out. What's going on? Thought you were better than this. You suck. Go die, Zach. This and that. So, some of you were also scratching your head wondering, what in the world are you even talking about, Zach? So, being that I'm subscribed to Swegta when I logged onto YouTube today, I saw a video in my sub box titled Taltigal vs. Zach Cox TV, where Swegta essentially calls me out for stealing and using this YouTuber's gameplay, like I said earlier on in the video, in a video that I made in October 2019. So, I saw the video, and yes, I am going to take time to clear the air, but first, I just want to preface everything by saying... Taltigal, whose gameplay that I did use, said that an apology wouldn't matter. But I am the type of guy that if I make a mistake, I'm not afraid to own up to it. And that's simply because it's not my intention to ever hurt somebody. That's one of the worst things in the world when you uh, unintentionally do something to hurt somebody. So I'm not afraid to own up to my mistakes. And no, I'm not trying to be the good guy here. I know there's a 12-year-old type in that comment right now. But if you missed Swagta's video, check it out. It's going to be the first link in the description. It's going to give you a better understanding of what I'm talking about, as well as a better understanding of both perspectives from both sides of the spectrum. But I also want to say that YouTubers don't have to hate each other. I know everybody's all about negativity and, hey, expose this guy, hate this guy, he sucks, talk bad about this guy. And that's not the case. I would say, like I said a few moments ago, that Swegta and I are acquaintances or friends on YouTube. Matter of fact, just like four or five days ago, I was on Swegta's channel during a live stream for the better part of an hour and a half where we talked about Dan Hauser, YouTube, life. We even reacted to a video of me getting exposed in 2018. So it's ironic that just a few days later, here I am with Swegta, the man who runs the bully channel himself, bullying me. I'm kidding. I just, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to use that pun. Swekta has a great channel. So to get started, on October 9th, 2019, I uploaded a GTA 6 discussion video. It's now received over 452,000 views. That's insane. To be honest, I haven't looked back at that video until today, so that was crazy. Well, in that video, the gameplay footage that I used is from a YouTuber named Taltigal. Now, Taltigal, I would say, is an OG GTA YouTuber. He's been around before pretty much every other GTA YouTuber was, and he's uploaded mod videos in Grand Theft Auto for the better part of a decade. Now, in that video that I made, the background gameplay was from a mod that he uploaded and a video that he uploaded in 2018. Now, let's be real. Nobody clicked on this GTA 6 discussion video to watch the background footage or the gameplay footage. It was about what I talk about in the video. But that said, though, that doesn't justify the fact that I used that gameplay without providing zero verbal credit, nor did I provide any credit in the description, and nor did I receive permission from Taltigal to actually use this gameplay. Now, why did you do such a thing, Zach? I know you're wondering. So, generally, when I use footage or gameplay in a video that isn't mine, which doesn't happen too often, but when I do that, I provide a link at the top of the description. And when I say top of the description, I mean above everything else, my social media links and also the written description that I provide. I've always done that. I've done it for years now. And uh, providing it at the very top versus at the bottom under all my own stuff, I just don't think it's right. It's common courtesy. So, anyways, so... Sometimes I forget to do so. I'm human. We make mistakes, right? Yes, but still, it doesn't make it any less, any less shitty. So when I upload my videos, that they generally take 10 to 15 minutes to upload. I've got decent internet speeds. So in that time frame, that's when I create my video thumbnails and video descriptions during the video upload time. So I've got like 15 minutes to put this together. I work really well under pressure. And because of that, though, sometimes I rush through. And in the process, I occasionally forget to provide a link or two. Generally, when I do so, I'll notice a comment saying, hey, uh, you, you forgot to, to provide the link to the article you were talking about or something like that, so I'm able to quickly add that in there. However, though, sometimes when it comes to gameplay or anything, I don't see those comments or it just goes over my head, and that's that. It's an honest mistake. So I have had people steal gameplay from me too, and I do understand the frustrations 
that do come along with that. I used to care. I used to care so much that for a while in 2018, I put a really fat watermark in all of my videos. And the reason for that is that gameplay takes forever to get sometimes, especially with the type of videos that I make being GTA Retro, uh, talking about certain things that happen in the storyline. And because of that, sometimes I might want to use a a certain quote from a certain character in a certain mission, and in, it, it takes place in the middle of that mission. So I've got to play this mission for like 15 minutes straight just for two seconds of a quote. So when somebody else takes that gameplay, which doesn't happen too much, but it has happened, uh, it is frustrating. So because of that, I did the watermark thing. Then I reached a point where I just stopped caring about that, and I didn't view it as such a big deal because it's just... It's gameplay footage. You got to pick and choose your battles. So in August 2019, however, I had something pretty big happen, and that was a Russian YouTuber stealing my whole video intro, my unique intro that I had custom made in 2015, like from the, the, the whole thing, except he put his logo on it, and he used he even used my own uh, uh, intro music. So when I seen that, I just laughed it off. I, I posted about it on Twitter, and I was like, man, that's crazy. Like, this guy stole my whole intro and it, I just laughed it off because I just seen it as like, hey, that's kind of cool that maybe I somehow inspired somebody to, uh, to, to have a cool intro. So anyways, there's going to be three categories to this video that I'm going to fall in. The first one is the technical category, which is, yes, I used this gameplay without any permission. Was that my intention? No. Like I said, normally there would have been a link at the top of the description to this video from Taltagol, unfortunately, I slipped up and it happened to be Taltagol and Swegta made a video. That's cool. Hey, it just lets me know that I need to be careful next time. And also, I use anybody's footage for whatever reason. Now, this isn't copyright in any way, shape, or form. You can't flag this video. You can't remove this video. It won't get removed. I can't get a copyright strike. And that is because you can record your own gameplay. You can hop on, record Grand Theft Auto but you do not own it. The game developer does. So any Grand Theft Auto footage that I have on my channel, no matter what it is, is owned by Rockstar Games. It's Creative Commons, I believe it is, and it doesn't break any copyright infringement laws. So that's kind of the bad thing about it, but there's also the moral category, which is Zach. It's common courtesy. Either get permission or provide a link in the description. I understand that. I've always done that. You can go back to tons of video descriptions for years now in my videos, and you will find that occasionally there are links to other channels or videos in the description because I I'm all about that. It's common courtesy. You don't have to do it, but it's common courtesy. Morally, it's a very nice thing to do. Unfortunately, I made this ignorant mistake, but I am going to learn from that. And then there's the third category, which is, screw you, Zach, you suck, you're just trying to backpedal, play the nice guy card because you got caught, you wouldn't make a video apologizing if you didn't get called out by Swegta, and that's the only reason you're here right now. So, that's not the case, but it kind of is the case, because I wouldn't have known about this if Swegta didn't make his video, I'm subscribed to Swegta, I didn't see Taltagal's video that he made a week or two ago. Because I'm not subscribed to Taltagol, and also it had like 900 views. Nobody tweeted it at me. I didn't see it. It didn't get recommended or anything. So prior to Swag's video in my sub box, I, I didn't know about this at all. Now, mind you, in Swagta's video, he does show that Taltagol did leave a comment on my video from October last week just talking about why didn't I credit him. And I didn't see that comment because... I forgot about that video from October. I wasn't looking back on that video, and I also received many comments per hour, so uh, that's that. I just didn't see it at all. Now, the last main thing that I do want to talk about is what I didn't agree with with Swagta's video, and that is him talking about Taltagalt's depression. So, the depressed guy, Zach Cox, talks about the other depressed guy, Taltagalt. So, essentially, Swagta has a whole segment where he talks about how it's pretty messed up that I went out of my way to torment this guy who's visually not in the best place right now. Why you went ahead and used somebody else's gameplay without them knowing, especially given the fact that said person is dealing with a lot of emotional baggage right now. And like I said, they have been for quite some time. And it's like I said, Taltagalt has dealt with a lot of sh you know, he's not exactly in a good place emotionally, so maybe, you know, just maybe cut the guy some f***ing slack. I
I disagree with that because that's not a good point to argue. I don't know Tal Tagal. I've only talked to him like twice on Twitter years ago, and I don't keep up with him. How am I to know what he's going through in real life? You and I both know people take things and run with them. I could have interpreted what you said in the complete opposite manner of what you meant, but you and I both know with our audiences and younger demographics, people take that and run with it into the fact like, oh, Zach knew this guy's fighting some demons, and he purposely went out of his way to add insult to injury. So so I want to say that, what do you think happened? Like, I woke up and thought, let's torment Taltagalt today and steal his gameplay and add to whatever he's going through. That's not the case. I didn't think anything about it. That That's the whole thing. I made my video. I used some gameplay that wasn't mine. I uploaded it, and I forgot to provide credit. Like, th that's that. There wasn't some evil plot to hurt Taltagalt, a man who I don't even know, who I've only talked to briefly uh, in the past, like in, in like 2015, and that's that. It's not my intention to hurt somebody or add to whatever they're going through. Like I said at the beginning of the video, that's one of the worst things that you can be like accused of is is hurting somebody when you really didn't mean to hurt them or accused of lying when you're really not lying like that stuff can just be kind of frustrating sometimes just like guys stealing your videos or your gameplay so yes i understand that from every side of the spectrum now real quick i just want to talk about my history with taltagalt so i have talked to him before uh, i searched him up on twitter and uh, we have some threads going back to like 2015 where even in 2015 he basically was like calling me out for a mod video Video that I did for not thanking the mod creator in the video even though I provided credit in the description it's one of those things that you can never win with some people then he also went on to say that he's drunk typing or drunk tweeting me right now so anyways that that's one of those things I guess some things never change last time that I did talk to Tal Tagalt was in September 2019 I was asking him about a mod from one of his videos and, and that was that I never even installed the mod I also searched his name up in my YouTube comments, and here's like every comment he's left, which has been about clickbait. So just voicing his opinion on my channel in the videos. So that's that. Everybody has a right to their own opinion. Uh, basically, what I've gathered from this is with, with the clickbait type comments and stuff is that Taltagalt is very passionate about what he does. He may not be in the best place right now, but unfortunately, he's letting something that he can't control interfere with him, and that's other YouTubers like uploading clickbait and things like that. But in the case with this, I do apologize, Tal Tagal. Although you said an apology wouldn't matter, I do apologize for using this gameplay and neglecting to provide your channel link in the description, nor reaching out to you for credit so I, I, or permission. So uh, that, I am sincerely sorry, like I said before and many times in the video. It's not my intention to go out of the way to, to hurt you or anybody else or add to whatever you're going through. It, it really isn't. That That's just not me, and I don't think that's really anybody else. So hopefully you accept that apology. If not, that's up to you. Uh, Swagta, I appreciate your video for bringing some attention to this matter. Matter. And no, I'm not afraid to, to shed some light on it because for the last time, it's never my intention to go out and hurt anybody. So that said, that's that. That's the air cleared with everything. I was trying to make this video not over 10 minutes because now there's going to be the people talking about all oh, the videos over 10 minutes. Typical Zach. I'm just really good at talking. So uh, if you missed out on Swegta's live stream that I was a part of uh, towards the end for like an hour and a half, you will see that I'm pretty good at talking. I'm a talker. So that said, anyways, hopefully the air is cleared with everything. Thank y'all for watching. And until next time, have a great day. And yes, the gameplay you see in the background is from me. It's from my own computer. I didn't steal any gameplay today.